What's going on, buddy? My name's and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Gold Sun. Last time we pretty much finished up everything we need to do in Tolby. Um, besides, there's one more weapon we need Mia to find, but that's okay. Uh, one thing we actually have hanging out in our inventory here is uh, this assassin blade. Assassin! What a very fitting name for this blade since it has a chance to insta kill. <clears throat> um, looks like Garrett or, I, or Garrett or Isaac could have a do a good good job with this. All right, um, this time we're gonna be heading. Is it this way? Yeah, we're gonna be following this path east. And making our way back into Angara. Angara. Uh, we gotta find a way back to Calais. And here it is. Wow. Oh, I was gonna say, not even a single bat. Hey, just an armored rat. That's fine. Um, and it'd be really nice if that could insta kill something, but that's okay. Um, if you insta kill something, you'll be able to tell because it'll instantly die. No damage will show on screen. Gondwin Cave. There's uh, quite a few things going on here. Gone to one cave. You could find nothing new in, or nothing, sorry, nothing old in here. Everything in here is brand new. Lift. Good. Ooh, we also gotta give the Jin back to their proper owners. Uh, I really should have done this off screen. Sorry, you guys. It's gonna take a second here. A quick little hot minute. Um, spritz. Bam. A uh, hail. So, you may be wondering, why are we going back to Ankara for? Well, you might be able to put together what we could do. Did I just mess some up? Oh no, you. Skippy doo And finally, you. And double finally, you. There we go. Alright. So we use lift boulders. Sean was talking about how. Or, actually, it was Arrhenus. A cobalt. Here we go. It's talking about how there's no way to get back in here unless you can lift boulders. Well, guess what? Could. Let's try this. Use gravity to hold a foe. That didn't work last time. Let's see if we can get to work this time. Uh, squall, sure, and hail. Hey, kobolds. Uh, not on the page I'm currently on. They're level 20. Uh, they have 220 hit points. They drop 154 gold and 107 experience points. They have a 6.25% chance to drop a sleeping bomb. Um, they have two herbs and also one sleeping bomb they could they have the ability to use. So the item uses. But you don't get much. Of them. There we go. That's what I've been looking for. Cold spear has been drained. There we go. Beautiful. Easy breezy beautiful cover girl. And this leads to nothing. But since there's a little stump rock up there, you could probably imagine that this will eventually turn to the shortcut to get through this cave. Uh, lift. <laughs> Alright, so that's one of four new enemies you can find in here. Uh, of course, <laughs> the one single enemy you fought so far. And insta kill. Oh, I was hoping. Oh, ooh, look at this guy being all smart. Take a look how Garen and Ivan. Ivan very clearly has a tiny sword, right? Nope, they have the exact same sword. They both have the assassin blade. It just looks giant on Garen for some reason. Is it actually that? It's all an illusion. Garen's actually the tiny one in the group. There's another giant rock. It's like, it's almost like freaking monsters put this here just to troll everyone. You could totally climb over those rocks, man. Uh, Dirty Ape! There we go, there's a new, uh, another new enemy we could fight. Uh, fever... Gust... Gust Bellows! Uh, 30 apes, they're level 20, they have 230 hit points, they have 149 gold, uh, 114 experience points. Wow, they have a 6.25% chance of dropping antidotes. They have Warcry, which has a chance to paralyze you. They have Free Bites, which is a chance to be a strong attack and uh, an attack. And it'll <laughs> there's a chance for it to be a, a stronger attack that will increase its attack by 12.5%. Whew! More kobolds, eh? Leave me alone! What are you people doing here? Smoog. And sure, it's sleet. Delusion. I think these guys don't have a whole lot to attack us with. Pretty scrubby, you know? And hopefully they'll be dead. There we go. Great. Looks like next turn maybe we'll use some summons, maybe. Uh, we actually want to jump through here. See how little treasure she is. A little bit too easy. But there's a lucky middle in there. You would almost think that perhaps there would be a mimic. But if you look carefully, there's actually another chest up there, too. go apple so this increases attack if you don't remember 211 I think definitely has the best attack let's give it to Ivan 
See, you either have two options here. Oh, there we go, Rat Warrior. Uh, there's only one more enemy we haven't seen here yet. I may have to uh, mess around here until I find them. All right. Oh, really? Yeah, I can only has two uh, attack gen. Ivan has three, so that's pretty okay. And now Mia has three. Rat Warriors! Um, they're level 20, they have 208 hit points, they drop 160 gold and 100 experience points, they have a 3.125% chance to drop the Bramble Seed, they can defense, they have the chance to flee, and they also have a Smoke Bomb. Not that that, not that they might not be able to even use it on me, because yep, they're already all dead. They're already all dead! Kieran. Yay! I kept thinking I was going to get a level up here, but nope. Okay, Mia still has the ability to summon here. Let's quickly, even though I'm not really too scared of anyone dying here, I might as well heal up just in case. And... Ah, oh, I was really hoping this would finally be the one enemy is looking for. Not finally, right? Ah. Oh. Broil. Broil, broil, broil in trouble! Life leech. Good, good. I really hope there hasn't been an Unleash I've missed. I don't think there has been, but I mean, you know, it's like, oh, wrong thing. In fact, I don't know why I always go to Isaac to use move. Oh no, god dang it, I forgot Garrett had force on him. Say, it's the only synergy Garrett uses for which is, by the way, kind of sad. Garrett doesn't really ever learn any good utility synergy. Yep, that's a shortcut we saw earlier, so that will stay there forever. And also, we could have come here before um, on the clay, uh, the clay side. I actually should have shown this, but I completely forgot about it. Uh, you would not have been able to get past this area here, because this rock would have been in the way. There we go. But, now we're coming from this side. Let's make the shortcut from that way, there we go. So I'll stay down there as well. You would hope so anyways, because that would be kind of screwed. And with that, this Kali right there. So you can see right there where that puts us. And if you run through here... Play ducks. Oh, you just straight up blocking the area. Shame has returned so we can set off, even if we wanted to. Oh ho ho, without a ship we can't do any business. Why do you seem happy about that? <laughs> I'm glad I only work on the ducks, but I'm worried about the others. One of the monsters got everyone. Yeah. I wish we could tell this guy. By the way, I gotta point out, I hate how there's not a space after the ellipse. Uh, Lipsies? That's what that's called, right? The three periods? I don't know why they don't do that. You know, the Jin's gone now. The Jinny. This music's really nice too. I like it. The ship won't be leaving here. There are too many monsters at the sea. The ship isn't going anywhere for a while. Ah, I'm bored. I'm gonna have to see you again. But you don't even go to see you. Stand there forever, lady. All right. Um. So we're not actually heading to Calais here. We need to head north. Got to guess where we're going yet? Eh? Eh? You know what? Oh, there's an enemy we missed. You know what? I'm gonna meet you guys back in that cave because there's a. Uh... Oh, actually, it'll be much easier now with the lure cap. I guess I could show that off. I'll meet you guys back at the cave. One second. All right, here we are. So I'm gonna quickly equip the uh, uh, where is it? The lure cap here. Hopefully, I'll be okay on Mia. <laughs> it just looks pretty ridiculous. It looks, it looks like a it looks like a mushroom, doesn't it? It's kind of hard to see because it's on the last page here. Weird. So let's run around here. I uh, may be wondering, why would you ever want to do this on a normal playthrough where you're not trying to show off all the monsters like I am? Um, it's best for training, mostly. Uh, Lure Cap is doing a horrible job at doing its job right now. Job, job, job. I will meet you guys when we find the last enemy we need to fight here. So, BRB got a pee. Ah, there we go. Warrior Bees. Warrior Bees! It's the bees! Actually... For now, we're gonna contrary attacks on Dirtier Ape, so maybe we can see them do some things. We all do want to attack on them, though. Warrior Bees, a level 20, they have 164 hit points, they have a 104 gold, 65 experience points, uh, they have a 6.25% chance of dropping an elixir, they have the ability to use Ally Search, which will bring another one into battle, like that. <laughs> um, they can use Numbing Sting, which can power paralyze you. They can they have the ability to use mortal blow, no way. Which wow, I didn't know they could do that. Which is actually a suicide move that'll kill them, but it'll do high damage to me, whoever they attack. So considering I already did one attack each on these guys. Interesting to see them do mortal blow. Let's see if they'll do it or not. Uh, I think we're too fast for them. Nope. Oh, I just attacked, really? That sucks. 
All right, now that we've seen that, I'm gonna unequip the Lura Cap here since we've seen all we need to here. I'm gonna only equip the Lura Cap ever if, uh, actually, I think we're gonna use our start here. Please tell me this is gonna work. I believe it'll bring you to the last exit you used. Even though we're kinda right there. Oh, please bring me to the right spot. It did, okay, good. Um, all right, yeah, I'm gonna ever use the Lura Cap if I uh, need to show you guys a monster. Other than that, I'll probably never use it unless I'm like trying to find some gear later on. Even though there's the, uh, the Prophet Hat there, um, there, that's the first of many items, well not many, there, there's, there's a few more items like that in the game where we need certain, uh, where there's like, it'll drop particular equipments. Alright, let's start using a Void here. So as you can imagine, we're in the, the noob zone, so all the enemies that you find will be very lame, weak, and do not want to fight them. Alright, so now we're in the Veil area. You should know where we're going, right? You should be able to figure it out. You know where we're going. This will actually be the last time we are in this area for the entire game, though, by the way. Because after this, there'll be no reason to come back to this entire section. Oh, that's going range. I, that confused me for a second. Is Lump up here? No, it's not. God dang it, I'm lost. <laughs> How am I lost? Aw, oh, I missed it. Wow, that's weird. This is the first time I've gotten lost in a very long time here. Weird. Feels kind of nice, you know? Oh, we're not gonna make it. I don't understand how freaking avoid. Oh, two more steps and I would have lost the ability to have that. Wow, crazy. Anyways, now that we have the ability um, to uh, use Cloak, we now have what we needed to, uh, to uh, sneak around the fortress here and get inside. So I'm looking forward to that one. You should be too. Time to go save Hammett! After all this time, since episode like 5, we've seen talk of Hammett. So we've already been here before, I'm not gonna waste time talking to everybody. So you see these uh, soldiers, if we run close enough, they'll run back there. Don't come any closer to the fortress! If you run back, they'll, they'll relax. Um, as you would imagine, we're gonna be using Cloak quite a bit here. Cloak, it looks, that's a really weird, it looks like a guy upside down, that's two white prongs up there that look like legs or something. Oh, it is! That is what it is! And there's arms and the face. I think that's supposed to imply they're upside down, because, you know, your shadow's upside down. So if you use Cloak and a shadow, that happens when you walk into the light. You turn back to normal. So that's how Cloak works. So we can sneak right around these guards. Try these very convenient shadows. Just like that, we're now in Lumpa Fortress. Heh <laughs> Where could the Nopo be? He's not in his room. We can't have any left. Okay, I'm gonna preface this as well. Actually, we're gonna do that and then put this to reveal. I have not practiced this. Um, so I'm gonna be using review a lot just to make sure that I'm not missing any items because I believe there are some in here. Wee! Thanks, Sam. You can enjoy food and drink all day long. Dompa is supposed to be old. I wonder what's, what he's fighting with in the fortress. That's why he's been in poor form and spends his time resting. What are we gonna do? I don't know, man. With Hammett here, we can milk as much money as we want out of Kalei. Some money tree for us. He's all drunk. Nope, I don't want to do that. No, I don't want to talk to you either. Oh, God. Eight hour long speech over here. I like how they have a woman here, just kind of. You know. <laughs> you know why she's here. I don't know if his wife is looking for him, but he can't find him anywhere. Hmm. We can't eat. We can eat all we like. It was all. It was all bought with the money from Calais. I love guarding myself for free. No, oh, these guys suck. Is there on the fortress who could face Dompa in battle? I was allowed into the cave to find out. As long as we have Hammett, all of Calais' earnings will be ours. Yar. So kind of a very pirate-esque. There's quite a bit to explore here. Door's tightly locked. It's like a jail cell, except there's like ways to go there. Okay. Uh, if we try to go up here. Hello, green man. Shrek, is that you? Who are you? How'd you get in here? So if you get caught, you get kicked out. And don't come back! <laughs> but seemingly enough, they don't, uh, they don't closely guard. Wait, can we talk to him? Huh? Cause I swear I just heard someone. That's funny. I forgot you could do that. I don't think you could talk to the other guy, though. I don't think you'll get close enough. Alright, so you can't go that way. So, as you would imagine, you want to do this, you do not want to step in the light till you're well past them. Wait a minute, actually, out of curiosity. <gasps> oh, what? 
Yeah, if you're anywhere in the light at all, you'll get caught. I didn't think I was close enough. Sorry. I want to see if you can mind read him. And don't come back. So, to be honest, I got caught on purpose the first time to show what that would do. I didn't think getting caught would be much of an issue here. Apparently, I was wrong. <laughs> Thankfully, it doesn't take much effort to get back here. Let's see if we can mind read him. That's strange. I could swear there's someone right nearby. Maybe it's just because I'm so tired. Wow, I didn't know you could do this. Huh? I swear I just heard someone. You're crazy. Still, this place is kind of creepy. I never did like it here. All right. I do think just being the light in general would be a bad idea, but no. Ooh, careful. I don't think it will see me without being the light, but just in case. Uh, there might be something in here. There is indeed. A file! <laughs> who, who, who goes there? Who, who are you? You don't look nearly as mean as the thieves in the fortress. You just need a lump of fortune. Is there just something? Yes. Great merchant habit? I'll tell you if I knew, but I don't. Uh, I meant to wait. I do have mine there, right? Yes, okay. Maybe the merchant is the reason why they've closed off the lower caves. Oh, does he say something different? Wait, what if we mine him here? Will he say something? Nope, he just scares him. <laughs> yes. Uh, I won't tell anyone, but you should leave before the guards find you. I thought he, like, commented that he was getting, like, beaten or something, but I guess not. Thankfully. Past that guy. Uh, it's like, okay. Oh my god. Totally actually knew about that. So yeah. So I don't know if it's supposed to imply these guys like carrying torches because they're kind of not really. Or if it's just supposed to be like a field of sight. Or both, I guess. Oops. Yeah, gotta be careful. I'm not used to having mine. I've, just, I've normally uh, mine readers on the left trigger. This time it's on the left trigger. Uh, let's go this way. This guy. There's no way to get past him, right? So you think, oh, there's gotta go the other way. But, if you actually run up to him, that's right, the brown, you can only kill the brown guys, not the green guys. Huh? Who's that? Pretty bold to come turn into a den of thieves. But you look right out when you ran to me. Show me your stuff. Show me your moves. All right, um, these guys look familiar. Let me pull my notes here. Uh, this is the brigands. They're level 21. They have 421 hit points. Uh, they drop 190 gold, and they have 162 hit points. And Mia will use Hail. They have a 3.125% chance to drop Crystal Powder. They have uh, the ability to use Slice, which is a chance for double damage. They have uh, two Crystal Powders they could use on you, and they have a Smoke Bomb. Although apparently he's not going to be able to use that because he's stunned. Wow. Went out pretty quick. There are a very set number of these guys. Yeah, he's straight up dead. <laughs> So this before, but apparently there's like a debate whether or not people actually die in Golden Sun since it says you felled them. And then when your character dies, you could actually come back. Do you know where Dodompa is? Yes. Really? That's fine, as long as he's in the fortress. No. <sighs> Don't tell me he's gone off trying to leave, live his youth again. I can't take my eyes off for a minute. Now he's gone chasing a new sweetheart. I already decided that Don uh, Papa will be Dodompa's successful successor. At least that tradition won't change. Oh, so this is the wife of... Um, don't know, I suppose. Don't know, child is so well behaved, I can't believe this is his father's son. It's a pity that child can't have an innocent childhood. Being watched by Don Papa makes me feel like I'm being judged. <laughs> Interesting. Papa always gets friendly with the ladies when Mama's not looking. That's why Mama always keeps a sharp eye on Papa. I'm not gonna marry anyone like my Papa when I grow up. Papa misbehaves and makes Mama worry. I have to be good so Mama won't have to worry so much. Oh, what a good hearted child. When my papa's gone, I, Don Papa, shall protect Lumpa myself. That's good. I like that. <clears throat> it's weird that sometimes, like, really good people can come up with really, like, horrible situations like that. And like, clearly his kid's in not a very good spot, but here he is being, trying his best. Uh, I don't think anything's in here. Let's double check, though. Nope. Doors, shields, shut. There's a key there. Wait a minute. No. No, we can't do anything from here. But yeah, I don't really, it's kind of stupid, they like, put on to you that, oh, don't get caught by the people, and then it's like, oh, but you can get caught by these differently colored people. That's racist, first of all. Second of all, I hate it. These guys very <laughs> instinctively running across the room, I don't know, I don't know why they gotta be so fast. Let's see here. Hello, girls. Poor, poor Dompa. Dompa's behavior is driving him into despair. Dompa can't last much longer than this. If you recall, 
Uh, there's Dorompa and then there's Dompa. Dompa is Dorompa's uh, son. Dompa, no, Dompa is Dorompa's uh, father. Sorry, man. <sighs> Dompa will be even more something. I get scared. Wait, let's let's, try, let's do that again. If Dompa dies, Dompa will be even more. I get scared just thinking about it. Evil. Evil. Finally, I'm just gonna make sure. Even though. In case there's maybe someone in behind the barrel she's standing in front of and then she moves there or something. You know, all these women were, were brought here against her will, like me. <sighs> I just want to go back to my hometown just one more time. That's so sad. I know Dompa will ask go if we were well. I hope we can, you hope you get better soon. Wow, so yeah, this is just literally just a sex dungeon. Anyways, uh, thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, the best way to support me is by leaving a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Next time, it will help deeper into Dompa's fortress. Lumpus Fortress, I guess. And hopefully find Hammett. Talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye!